I'm going to tell you the three mistakes that men make when they go down on women. And I don't think I've covered this either on my channel. I just did another video about thrusting. And I'm like, I don't think I've covered this about going down on women either. But it's so important. So listen, by the end of this video, you're going to know for sure not to do these things. Because these are kind of like deal makers or deal breakers especially at the beginning of a relationship. If you're in a relationship, then I've got a workaround for you, so hang tight. I'm Erica Angelo, dating and relationship expert, 16 years, author, television host, speaker, all the things. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. You're gonna wanna do that, because sometimes I will just surprise you with a live video, and you're gonna wanna like this video. In fact, just hit that button right now, the like button, the likey like, like button, not the clitoris button, the like button. Yeah, that one, hit that one. So when you make this one mistake that I'm gonna share with you the first one, uh, what happens is it turns us off, but it also in our mind, we're like, he doesn't know what he's doing. And so we may not ever want you to go back down there because we're like, oh yeah, he did it that one time and it just really creeped me out. And it's when you go in and you go straight for the clitoris and you give us just that little spiky tongue. And it's just like, and you just go in and you just stay there. This screams novice. This screams guy doesn't know what he's doing. This screams homeboy has never been given any feedback about his poo tang eaten game and homie needs an education and if you're one of those guys you're like how do i know well when she tells you uh it's not my thing i mean it's not her thing with you <laughs> she ain't feeling it with you my man so trust me you might be making this mistake and i'm gonna be here to tell you the truth also if you're like one of those guys and you're like you know what erica no one has ever taught me how to do it and i've only seen this stuff d done in porn and i'm and I can tell you, that stuff is so fake. Like, as soon as a guy like does this, like, I'm porn, and she's like, ah, ah, and it's like, that is such a lie. So they're probably telling you how to do it wrong there. So I created a new course. I cannot believe I did this course. Uh, I, I'm gonna tell you, it's it's called Tongue Magic, Lick Her Into Bliss. As you can tell, I'm still a little embarrassed that I made this course. But man, it's important because listen, when you can do this, like it's such a sensual, intimate thing, such a vulnerable thing for us to receive. But when you know how to do this well, man, the connection and the bond that you can create with a woman, when you know how to eat her out very well, Oh, it's so bonding, it's so sensual, it really develops that deep connection. So yeah, that's in the comment section, it's in the description, and my team, when they saw the video, they are like, damn, Erica, you went hard. You went hard in this video, and I'm like, yeah. So it's brand new. This is my first time talking about it on my YouTube channel. You can go get it right now. So yeah, that's the first biggest mistake that a guy does, is when, he just goes straight in and he just stays on the clitoris the whole time. It's such a turnoff. It's like, bro, there's so much more to my vagina. You don't have to just stay there. Like, that's a good spot. Don't get me wrong. But there's more to my vagina than just my clitoris. And the other mistake that guys make is when they just stay in either one mode or the other. And this is what I mean. Like, you have some guys who are just like, um, just super, super gentle and soft, and they just stay in that mode. Or you have the other ones who are just like killer, and they're just like it's like a, a like a a, a rattlehead tongue, and they're just like, <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, buddy, whoa. Okay, you've been watching some porn. All right, that's that's that doesn't necessarily feel so great the whole time <laughs> having a. <laughs> having a rattlesnake. <laughs> and so you got some guys, I'm laughing and you're like, shit, this is not funny, Erica. I've been that guy. It's okay, babe. You're gonna get that tongue magic course, how to lick us into bliss. 
and you're gonna learn not to make these mistakes ever again. But yeah, when they go in with the rattlesnake tongue, <laughs> just make that up. Or you've got the guys who are just like super soft and they don't know like what to do from there. Oh, it's such a turn off and it really does scream that this guy doesn't know what he's doing. The other part is this. This is a big mistake that men make when they're going down is they're not aware of like all the parts of the vagina. They're like, they like I said, they just stay on the clitoris or they don't realize like there are like vaginal walls and there's like a hole there and there's, there's other areas that require the tongue in a certain way. It's like if you're taking that rattlesnake tongue and you're doing it to our vaginal walls and that's all you're doing, whoo, like even just saying that my stomach hurt, I was like, Oh God, it's not, so when you're not aware of like the vagina and you're just like focusing on regions and you're using your tongue in the wrong way, it's such a turn off. And what, what we think is it really demoralizes how we see you. And I know that sounds really harsh, but I'm going to really be honest with you. It's like, oh yeah, he's not so good at that. And so maybe the sex isn't going to be good. It really just weakens our perception of you. And I hate saying that, but this is why it's so important that you guys get these tools to get better at that. You don't want to ruin your chances over something that can be solved with the right education, right? So make sure that you get that. So in the comment section, if you watched this whole thing, I want to see comment rattlesnake and I will know that you watched to the very end. Now, I did tell you this. I said for you guys who are in relationships and your wife or your girlfriend's like, yeah, I don't like that. And, and I'm telling you the truth. She just doesn't like the way you do it unless she has some trauma. That's a whole different conversation. But she's like, no, I just, I just, I don't like it. It means you, you didn't do it right is what it really means. And so what you want to tell her to re-engage her is, you know what? I've been dreaming about how beautiful your little pussy is. And I would love to just make, I would love to just worship her. I would love to just make love just to her, but just with my mouth. I just, she deserves to be kissed well. And I, I, I got something I want to show you. Reintroduce her to it and make it sound very exciting. Like it's going to be a new experience. Really sell the new experience because most of the time women we're, we've been ingrained to be nice. We're not going to tell you the truth when something sucks. We're going to make a whole bunch of other excuses because we know that most men have very gentle egos. And so we'll do whatever we can to protect those gentle egos. But meanwhile, we're dissatisfied and you don't want that. You want both of you guys to be having crazy pleasure. So I hope that this helped you. You know, I've got a whole bunch of videos here for you to watch go watch those. I want you to become the master of the bedroom, man. I want you to be the guy where when she's like thinking about other guys, she's like, you're like, nope, they not like us. They not like us. They not like us. I love you guys. I will see you in one of my next videos. Take care. Mwah.